Welcome to this session of Business Boosters, where we unlock the power of technology to propel your business forward. I'm John Horner, and today I'm going to discuss how you can leverage some of today's biggest technology trends. So what are the different trends in technology today? Well, number one, war for talent. You know, talent or workforce right now is scarce. You probably have seen that. If your business relies on human beings, which nearly everyone does in order to get work done, you may have found it more difficult to find and retain great people. So that is one important consideration as you're trying to figure out the future of your business. Another is uh, the year of efficiency. We, you know, we've heard some of the big names in industry talking about how this year is the year of efficiency, how it's important to get the most productivity out of the people that you have within your organization. Again, more focus on making sure that with the talent that you have, that you're able to still produce and accomplish great things. And efficiency and productivity are a means to do that. And Forbes just put out an article this year that says 2023 will be a defining year for AI and the future of work. I mean, that's a big statement that, you know, this is the year for AI. AI is not new. Uh, work is not new. So there are advancements, as many of you have, I'm sure, seen with AI and some of the generative AI tools that exist now today with things like ChatGPT. However, the, you know, the AI solutions go far beyond that with generative AI working in all kinds of media, whether it be text and chatbots, images, audio and visual recordings, and then the solutions that are being built off of these tools, you know, really are crossing all kinds of industries and all kinds of work that we do. However, it is very important to remember that the work that we do and the solutions that we have, while they can be helped by AI, it's best to think about how you're planning to leverage that. You know, digital workforce is a term, again, that's not new. About a decade ago, uh, probably longer, uh, the, you know, the term digital workforce was coined. And the idea, and this was, again, over a decade ago of a digital workforce, it's where automation and AI unite. So when you bring these two pieces together, now you can start to think about how can they in, yeah, act as a part of my business to accomplish my mission, to accomplish core tasks, tasks that are being done. And it is important now more than ever to make sure that you're being purposeful and focusing on impact. With all of the AI solutions and all of the AI hype that's out there, many people are walking around with the AI hammer and thinking everything is a nail. Where can I use AI? Where can I use this solution? And everything is under the lens of AI. Well, you know, take a step back, think of it differently. If I'm thinking of it now as a workforce, where can that workforce have the greatest impact on my business? Imagine that you had a, a group, you know, 30 people show up at your door um, or your virtual door, depending on if you're a virtual or in-person business, and they all say, I want a job. I'd love a job. Well, would you hire all 30 of those people on the spot? Would you know what to do with them? Would you just, you know, just say, go around and figure out where you were helped? No, that's what people are doing with AI today. It's better to work it as if you are recruiting a new workforce. So think about it. Start recruiting your digital workforce. And where do you start? You figure out where do I have a need? Where can I hire my workforce to help? Where can they have the greatest impact? Where do I want to invest my time, my effort, my resources? Because if you're leveraging these tools, they are an investment of time, resources, and often money. So think about it. What will have the greatest impact? And then you have to think about the skills of your workforce. You know, what kind of skills do they have? And when you're talking about a digital workforce, that's where you can leverage automation and AI tools for things like um, data processing, form processing, image processing, any kind of targeted communications, whether it be uh, sales and marketing messaging. It could be around collections. It could be customer service. And with the tools today, you can get very specific and very targeted in the communications and who you're talking to through automation and, and gathering information, feeding that as to prompts into some of the tools, and then sending out messaging at the right timing that's triggered based on you know, whether it be dates or actions that occur from the people that you're communicating to. Content creation, content review, all things that AI and automation can do as part of your workforce, quality assurance, training, onboarding, research, analysis, the places where technology, AI, automation, and your digital workforce can have an impact are really anywhere within your organization where there is regular work that's being done, where there's any kind of digital 
processing of information. And with that, you can find unique ways in order to leverage those tools that are available. Thank you for watching this session of Business Boosters, and I hope you have a great day.